Um, the show is basically a homage to the 1940 film, 40, one, one film, uh, Castle Market. But uh, we poke fun, uh, have good fun, but kind of play the whole genre of uh, three actors trying to recreate the movie and make a virtue of it being three actors doing the whole film. Um, but within that, we're still very reverential to the plot. Um, and so, yeah, the romance is still there, the intrigue, uh, the letters of transit, it's a wreck and so on, uh, which is mainly the Borag thought and script, you know, which yeah. uh, just pared it down uh, and kept the essentials of the script because the, the original did kind of meander quite a bit. Uh, and so it's, it's kept the best off? I think so. And yeah, basically, um, Gavin plays Rick, obviously, and, and Claire plays um, Ilsa. Um, Ingrid Bergner, and she Stratton. also plays Major Strass, the evil German, <laughs> and I play almost everyone else in the film, Peter Laurie, Claude Rain. The play originated in Glasgow, is that right? Yeah. How, did, how did you get involved with it originally? Uh, originally, uh, I was drunk, <laughs> <laughs> and Morag approached me, she'd seen me before, I thought there was a kind of thing about, I'd never realised there was any similarity to Bogart, but she, she said, she saw me, I told her about Eliza Minnelli concert, and uh, I did an impersonation of Liza Minnelli, and she said, if any straight 46 year old man can do Liza Minnelli, you can probably do most people. So, uh, the play Pine of Paint in Glasgow, they do a thing called Play Pine of Classic, where they'll cut down the Shakespeare to 45 seconds. She died the idea of doing it with a movie, and a classic movie, and so the Captain Black, and would you get interested? I, why not? Uh, and then she wrote it. <laughs> so we had to do it. <laughs> and yeah, it was fantastic. What do you think? Loved it. And I heard Jimmy was on board to have really admired him. He's been a huge hero of mine for years on stage and followed him. The chance to work with Jimmy. We'll get the money later. And did you find yourself going back to the film to watch, uh, you know, to get inspiration or to, to copy any of his mannerisms? No, I watched Hot Top Time Mission. <laughs> Which was completely useless. Uh, I don't know why I did that. No, I did the. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I thought I'd seen Castlevania and I had to so I'd never watched it from start to finish. Uh, so that was quite amazing. <laughs> I'm different about it. I, can't, I don't like to watch something if I'm portraying it on stage because then I do get bogged down either by an accent or by mannerisms or whatever. It's just I like to do things from memory because I do remember the film. If you were to uh, yeah. be given the choice of a film to adapt, what film would you do? Hot Tub Time Machine. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gosh, I don't know. Oh, I, I think yeah, yeah. the first time Morag suggested that I had stupid acid lawn to Arabia. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know that. Hut, hut. Martin's Falcon would be a good one. Yeah. Yeah. The local hero would be a good film. Well, a good stage show. Um, um, I'm trying to think some of the older ones. Oh, right. Take the high road, the musical. Oh, I know. Yeah, that's been done as well, I think. We Jordy. It was certainly we took at one point. We Jordy. Come on, come on, we Come on, we Jordy. We Jordy. He's hammer. Aye. Great fries, Bobby. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was in the film. I played the lead. Well, we're at the Pleasance Park until the 29th of August, uh, 4:30. Yeah. Uh, you'll have fun, it's nice, hopefully, everybody goes away with a smile on their face and feel good, happy, tight, uh, and it's not uh, expected in these dark times. So yeah. And I'm not one of these people who's been on recommending shows yeah. I mean, I've done an awful lot now, but uh, I've bored everyone. It's possibly the last one. So. Yeah. I've, uh, <laughs> you know, I just want everyone to see it. I think it's a brilliant, brilliant show. I've never done a feel-good show like that.